Engineers, solving problems. Today's lesson is how to make a design proposal. And design proposals are going to differ depending on what you're going to work on. So today we are on foldandfly.com, which is one of the better websites as far as seeing how to make a paper airplane. This is great for those of you that don't know how, because you can see step by step. So I'm going to point to each step in this lesson, and then I'm going to show you how I want it documented in your engineering notebook. So the first step is to write down, where did you get your information from? So I'm going to write down foldandfly.com forward slash 1.html. That's the website that I found this paper airplane design. Now, we want to have the directions to make it on paper in your engineering notebook. This is part of your grade. So the first thing is to take what you see right here on the screen, and you're going to draw it on your paper. It's very easy. It's just shapes. You guys can do it. So the first shape is just a piece of paper and folds and creases like this. You're going to put a dotted line. That's a fold. And this particular fold is called fold hot dog style. So that is step one. Step number two is to unfold it. So we can say and unfold. So there's your crease. Now we're going to take it like this, a whole sheet of paper. Now there's a crease right here. So we're going to draw a simple line there. Now we need to fold it along these corners right here. So we're going to take and take an arrow to draw it in. So it shows the direction fold corners. To center. Step three is going to leave us with the shape that you see right here on the screen. This is what we're left with. So it's going to be a triangle, just like that. And then you've got your crease and your flaps. So that shows you about what you have. Now we need to fold again, so we're folding somewhere along this line right here. So we're going to put it again, fold to center, fold corner to center, and that's on both sides. So now we're left with a shape that looks like this, number four. It's really just a triangle and a square put together. So it looks like that. And that is what you have right here. So in step four, it says to fold the plane in half. So we're just going to say fold plane in half. And there's actually two ways to show it. You could show this skinny. See, they don't show it on the website. But you're really going to have a skinny section like this. goes up like that and then there's going to be the flap right there and you say fold in half that's your step four now we're going down to step five we'll scroll down you can copy what's written here but I'm gonna I'm shortening it a little bit so we take this shape which is the plane folded in half and we want to fold wings down about right here, probably. Draw on that beautiful little arrow. And it says fold wings down to meet at the bottom. Both wings should be equal. Now, I'm not expecting you to draw a 3D airplane, but it would look similar to this when you're done. We have... There's that little channel that usually runs right up the middle of the airplane right there. There we go. That 
that's pretty much what it's going to look like. And there's your finished airplane. This is how for every airplane that you make and choose to make for this project, you need to have these steps written down. There's some examples on our class website in my engineering logbook, and there should be examples on the internet of this same thing. So make sure that when you make these paper airplanes that you are doing your design proposal just like this. Now, tomorrow or later today, depending on when you get to it, you'll do the next section, which is to do the surface area of the wing. And that's the second part of your design proposal. And that will be in a separate video coming up soon. It should be my page six. So don't forget to update your table of contents with paper airplane day four and the page number that you are on. And at the top of your page, you're gonna put paper airplane day four, your page number and your date, and then you sign and date it at the bottom 8, 14, 20, 20, because that's how engineers update their engineering logbooks or notebooks. All right, thanks guys, and we'll catch you on the next go round with how to find the area of the surface area of your wing, which will be a lot of math, so get ready.